The average adult weighs around 190 pounds. The average adult woman around 165 pounds. Sadly, many adults weigh far more than is evident by the rising obesity epidemic all over the world. Some people, however, go stratospheres beyond obesity. For one reason or another, they just keep getting heavier and heavier. Today, we take a look at some of the most obese people in the world. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video and check out our number one pick because that woman might just be the biggest weight loss success story you've ever seen. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for y'all that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. <laughs> Try it. It really works. Aria Permana 11-year-old Aria Permana weighs the same as six boys his own age. Arya Pramana from Indonesia was once the fattest boy in the world, weighing an unbelievable 423 pounds at the age of 10. Yeah, 423 pounds. Growing up, life wasn't easy for this boy. He could barely function as a normal person, let alone doing stuff like other kids his age, such as playing with friends and going to school. Instead, Arya spent his time sleeping and eating and just hanging out at the pool at the front of his house. So what did he eat exactly? Well, Arya's diet consisted of six packets of instant noodles, fizzy drinks, and fried chicken. Yes, he would eat all of that in one day. But you'll be glad to know that the world's fattest boy actually changed his habits. In fact, he was able to lose more than half of his body weight. How did he do it? Well, by eating fish and vegetables, of course. He also underwent gastric sleeve surgery and now weighs 189 pounds. Wow. What an incredible achievement. Drew Stewart. I haven't weighed myself in years. I just hope I weigh under 700 pounds. TLC series Family by the Ton followed three extremely overweight cousins, Drew, Naomi, and Shitaka, who at one point weighed an unbelievable 2,000 pounds. That just boggles my imagination. 43-year-old Drew Stewart was so obese that he hadn't weighed himself in over 10 years. He wore a size 18X t-shirt. When he finally went to the doctor and stepped on the scale, Drew was shocked to learn that the scale couldn't even register his weight. Growing up, Drew was an active kid who liked to ride bikes, swim, and play basketball and football. He started gaining weight after moving to Atlanta to care for his mother, and before he knew it, he became morbidly obese. And it was the ability to care for his mother that motivated Drew to lose the weight. And eventually, he managed to reach his fitness goals and change his relationship with food. Shitaka Light. This surgery represents freedom. A freedom that I haven't experienced in a long time. Now it's time to meet Drew's cousin, 49-year-old Shitaka Light, who also appeared on the TLC reality series Family by the Ton. At the start of her weight loss journey, Shitaka weighed an incredible 680 pounds. Oh, wow. Because of her weight, she was bedridden for three years. Yes, she spent three whole years in bed. I'm not kidding. Shitaka even described herself as being encased in a flesh prison. Shitaka was a risky candidate for weight loss surgery for obvious reasons, so she decided to work with a personal trainer in an attempt to lose some weight. In this clip, you can see Shitaka walking outside for the first time in years. She invited her friends and family over to her house, including Drew and Naomi, to witness her getting outside. It was quite an emotional moment. Shitaka was able to get inside the car and make her way to the doctor's office, where she was finally approved for surgery. Octavia Gahangas. It's been a week since I talked to Dr. Now and I've decided to go ahead and move to Houston. Like Chitaka, Octavia Gahangas, the star of the seventh season of TLC's reality series, My 600 Pound Life, was also bedridden for nearly a year because of her weight. Weighing an incredible 692 pounds, she wasn't able to travel in a car for years. In this clip, you can see Octavia preparing to go to her doctor. However, the only way she can get to the doctor's office is on a mattress in the back of a specially outfitted van with the help of a whole team of EMTs. At the doctor's office, she found out that she weighed 692 pounds and decided to get serious about losing the weight. 
she was approved for gastric bypass surgery and managed to lose 236 pounds. Juan Pedro Franco After suffering an injury at age 17, Franco's weight began to rise and rise over the years until reaching a peak weight in October 2016. At that time, the 32-year-old Franco weighed 1,312 pounds. What? That's insane! Hey, but at least he's earned himself a Guinness World Record for being the heaviest man in the world. That's got to count for something. Because of his extreme weight, he wasn't able to leave his bed, had diabetes, blood pressure issues, one of his lungs suffered blockage, and he was on oxygen all day, every day. But Franco eventually decided enough was enough and started a diet consisting of healthy Mediterranean food. Exercise, however, wasn't an option due to his extreme size. In May 2017, Franco underwent a gastric sleeve operation which reduced his stomach size to almost 80%. Six months after that came a gastric bypass surgery, which made the stomach even smaller. As a result, he dropped over 500 pounds in 18 months. In November 2018, he reported the weight of 671 pounds. So in just two years, this guy managed to lose more than half of his body weight. Impressive. And thank you, doctors, and the advancement in science. Francis Serrano. So, Francis, you were telling us a little bit about Heart and Target yes. earlier. Now we're going to learn some moves. Right, exactly. Uh -huh. So this is one of the tools that this is one of the training tools that we use. 28-year-old Francis Serrano weighs more than 500 pounds and is afraid that he's going to have a heart attack. So how did Francis get to the point where he weighs this much? For some people, weight gain is caused by hormonal conditions. For Francis, however, it's the result of a lifetime of overeating and lack of exercise. In order to quicken his weight loss, Francis has opted for a radical solution, a gastric bypass surgery that will reduce his stomach to the size of a shot glass and then reconnect his intestines to it. Gastric bypass surgery is the most common operation performed in the U.S. for weight loss. The complication rates are low and outcomes are excellent, but it's still considered a risky operation with one in 100 operations ending in death. The surgery isn't a miracle, and if Francis doesn't change his lifestyle, he won't continue to lose weight and could even gain some back. Francis is feeling very optimistic that he'll be able to make the necessary changes because he knows he has a lot to live for. Ashley Dunn Bratcher There's not a day that goes by that I don't have pain. Just about any movement hurts. When 27-year-old Ashley Dunn Bratcher from Texas first appeared on My 600 Pound Life, she weighed a whopping 725 pounds. Her enormous size caused her constant pain. She couldn't move properly, and she struggled with everyday tasks. But do you want to know the worst part? She relied on her five-year-old son, Patrick, to help her out. You really can't make this stuff up. It was Ashley's desire to give her son his childhood back that motivated her to lose her weight. For really? He's five years old to <clears throat> And it showed. During the first four weeks of her weight loss journey, Ashley lost an incredible 123 pounds, which made her eligible for gastric bypass surgery. Since the surgery, she managed to lose 450 pounds in total. <laughs> Can you believe it? Well done, Ashley. It's about time and you should be slapped with a child abuse lawsuit. I'm just saying. Diana Bunch. So today you're 601 pounds. Yes. 54-year-old Diana Bunch from Seattle is, without a doubt, one of the biggest success stories of TLC's My 600 Pound Life. When she first appeared on the show, Diana weighed a whopping 620 pounds, and she was in constant pain. But that didn't stop her from keeping a positive outlook across multiple years and episodes. She ultimately lost 265 pounds, almost half her peak weight, thanks to a diet and gastric sleeve surgery that removed 70% of her stomach. A year later, Diana revealed that she was down to her goal weight of 195 pounds. Can you believe it? Now that's quite a success story. And you didn't have to abuse somebody along the way. Unlike the aforementioned, she who shall not be named. Kirsten Perez. I hardly get out of the house because it just hurts to move. Okay. 
In 2017, fans of My 600 Pound Life were introduced to a 38-year-old Kirsten Perez from Longview, Washington. When she first appeared on the show, she weighed 612 pounds. As you can imagine, Kirsten struggled with a lot of daily activities. She couldn't even fit in a car and was close to losing her mobility. Eventually, Kirsten decided to meet with obesity specialist and surgeon Dr. Yuna Nalzarandan, who agreed to do weight loss surgery if she was able to lose 50 pounds in one month. Kirsten was determined to reach that goal, but her son's presence threatened to derail her progress. What do I mean? Well, he would often eat junk food in front of his mother and laugh at her because of her weight. Now, can you believe that? I mean, how insensitive do you need to be to laugh at your own mother? However, despite her son's ridiculous behavior, Kirsten was able to lose 49 pounds in one month. A year after she started her journey, Kirsten went from 612 pounds to 442 pounds, losing a total of 170 pounds. Take that, you little bully. <laughs> you probably think you had something to do with it, you little narcissistic twit. Charity Pierce 765 pounds. 38-year-old Charity Pierce was once the heaviest woman in the world, weighing an incredible 778 pounds. She weighed over 500 pounds when she was a teenager. Doctors have urged her to diet and exercise, but an accident in the year 2000 severely hampered her mobility. In 2014, Charity appeared on My 600 Pound Life. Dr. Yunan Nalzarandan took her on and helped her get down to 650 pounds so she could have gastric surgery. She also had to undergo an operation to remove the large mass of fatty deposits on her legs, which weighed 57 pounds on their own. Now, Charity weighs 278 pounds and is one of just five My 600 Pound Life cast members to lose more than 500 pounds. Which one of these people did you find the most fascinating? Let me know in the comments below and I'll handpick and feature your comments in the next video. Look out for your comment and don't let people bully you, please.